All right, guys. Uh, what's up? Back again. Um, I was scrolling through Facebook earlier, and I seen this on our community. Um, I guess postings, our community, neighborhood watch, whatever it is, information page, and uh, it was this lady. Uh, the lady who originally posted it was named uh, Zalika McRae. I don't know if I got that right. Um, but anyway, uh, I guess this is like a homemade fly trap. Uh, don't mind the dogs barking in the background. Um, they've been going all day. They're quite annoying. Uh, let me know if you want one. Just kidding. They're ours. Um, but anyway, uh, we got a pickle jar. We're going to poke some holes in the lid, the top of the lid with the knife. And then we are going to put some syrup in the jar. And we're going to add our wiener, is what she called it, our hot dog, to this concoction. But I think I'm going to add some water just to make it, since this is a pretty big jar. Um, so I'm going to cut my wiener and put my syrup in, cut my holes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my holes. Um, it only took me about maybe a minute and a half. But uh, I recommend if you're using a knife, please be careful. Uh, I'm an idiot, and I like to try to kill myself. I'm dangerous with knives. I don't like to try to kill myself, but um, I'm very dangerous with knives. So it was really kind of stupid for me to use a knife, especially a very sharp knife. Um, anyway, uh, I would, I would recommend using a drill with a drill bit to make your holes, make your life a little easier. Uh, by the way, I did not cut myself at all. Go me. Um, so I got my hot dog in there. Uh, it said four to six pieces, so I cut four to six pieces. Now we'll add our syrup. Gotta get a better grip. Alright. So I think that's I think that's plenty of syrup. Um I'm going to add a little bit of water. Grip. I am not hundred percent sure if you're supposed to add water or not. Um I did just because I'm not gonna waste all that syrup on stupid flies. So that's a lot of syrup. And my kids go through a lot of pancakes. So, um, just, I would, I would let this sit for a couple days and, uh, see how many you get. If the flies get to be too much, um, just throw the jar away because it's a little gross to keep around. Um, let me know how it works down in the comments below, like I said. Uh, I found this on Facebook as I was scrolling through our community information page, and it was reposted from Zaleka Zaleka McRae. I, I don't think I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. But uh, if you see this video, Zaleka, um, thanks for the thanks for the tip. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll be back in a couple days. Um, because our flies are really bad right now with all the rains. We're, we're getting our monsoons right now, so uh, Hopefully I catch a lot of flies. I'll let you guys know. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you try this and if it works for you uh, Thanks for watching as always. Please like comment Share with your friends and subscribe, please right now. I only need a thousand more views on my channel to get me to 10,000. I would appreciate it very much. So, uh, hope you guys have a great day. Like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this DIY fly trap thing, I guess. <laughs> so, have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching.